Have you ever felt that someone close to you isn't genuinely happy about your successes? Or sense a hidden agenda in their words? Recognizing envy and falsehood in others can be challenging but incredibly important. In this video, we delve into the wisdom of Stoicism to uncover 13 ways to identify these traits in the people around you. By understanding these signs, you can protect your peace and foster genuine relationships. Stick with us until the end, and you'll gain valuable insights into maintaining a Stoic mindset in the face of envy and deceit. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content on personal growth and ancient wisdom. Now, let's explore how to see through the masks people wear. Before we delve into the specifics of how to recognize envy and falsehood in others, it's important to understand what these terms truly mean and why it's crucial to identify them. Envy is a feeling of discontent or covetousness about another's advantages, success, possessions, or traits. It's not merely jealousy, it's a deeper, often more destructive emotion that can lead to harmful behaviors. When someone is envious, they might go out of their way to undermine the person they envy, often in subtle or covert ways. Now, let's define falsehood. Falsehood is the act of lying or making false statements, typically with the intent to deceive. It involves a deliberate departure from the truth. Recognizing falsehood is crucial because it helps us maintain integrity in our relationships and avoid being manipulated or misled. So why is it important to recognize these traits? For personal growth and maintaining a stoic mindset, being aware of envy and falsehood in others helps us protect our mental well-being and stay grounded in our values. By identifying these traits, we can navigate our interactions more wisely, avoiding unnecessary conflicts and focusing on our personal development. In Stoicism, being aware of such negative traits in others allows us to practice compassion without being naive. It helps us set boundaries and maintain our inner peace, adhering to the teachings of Marcus Aurelius and other Stoic philosophers. Now that we know what envy is, let's talk about how to spot it in others. Here are six signs that someone might be envious of you. 1. Excessive Criticism First, let's talk about excessive criticism. Have you ever had someone who constantly finds faults in everything you do? It's like no matter how hard you try, they always have something negative to say. This kind of behavior goes beyond helpful advice. Instead of offering constructive feedback, they nitpick and blow small mistakes out of proportion. For example, if you cook a meal, they might say, it's okay, but it could use more salt, even if it's perfectly seasoned. Their goal is to make you doubt yourself and feel inferior. 2. Backhanded compliments. We have backhanded compliments. These are tricky because they sound like compliments but have a hidden insult. For instance, if someone says you're so brave to wear something like that, it seems like praise but actually implies they think your outfit is a bad choice. Another example is, you did well for someone with your experience which suggests they don't think you're very capable. Backhanded compliments are a sneaky way for envious people to put you down while pretending to be nice. 3. Undermining your achievements. Undermining your achievements. Envious people often try to downplay your successes. Instead of celebrating your hard work, they might say things like, anyone could have done that, or you were just in the right place at the right time. They aim to make your accomplishments seem less important and make you feel like your efforts don't matter. Imagine you got a promotion at work, and instead of congratulating you, they say, you just got lucky, it's their way of making sure you don't feel too proud of yourself. 4. Passive-aggressive behavior. Passive-aggressive behavior. This is when someone doesn't express their negative feelings directly but shows them through their actions. An envious person might give you the silent treatment, make sarcastic comments, or do things that subtly show their resentment. For example, they might forget to invite you to a group outing or make a snide remark like, must be nice to have everything handed to you. These actions are meant to hurt you without them having to openly admit their envy. 5. Imitation and competition. Imitation and competition. Envious people often try to mimic what you do and compete with you constantly. This goes beyond simple admiration. They might start dressing like you, using your ideas or trying to outdo you in everything. For instance, if you start a new hobby, they might suddenly take it up too and try to be better at it than you are. They're not just inspired by you, they want to prove they're just as good or even better. 6. Celebrating your failures. Celebrate your failures. If someone seems happy when you mess up, it's a clear sign of envy. 
They might offer fake sympathy or even highlight your mistakes to others. For example, if you didn't do well on a project, they might say, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, but you can tell they're secretly pleased. They may even tell others about your failure to make themselves feel better. Their reaction to your setbacks can reveal their true feelings because your misfortune makes them feel superior. By watching out for these signs, you can better understand who's really on your side and who's letting envy affect their behavior towards you. Recognizing these behaviors can help you protect your mental well-being and make more informed decisions about who you let into your inner circle. Now, let's move on to recognizing falsehood in others. Knowing when someone is being dishonest can help you avoid manipulation and build more trustworthy relationships. Here are the next seven signs that someone might be lying or hiding the truth. Seven, inconsistent stories, inconsistent stories. When someone is lying, they often struggle to keep their story straight. If you notice that their details change each time they tell the story, it's a red flag. For example, they might say they were at a friend's house on Friday night, but later mention they were at a party. These inconsistencies can reveal that they are not telling the truth. Eight, avoiding eye contact, avoiding eye contact. Many people find it hard to look you in the eye when they're lying. If someone frequently looks away, fidgets, or seems uncomfortable making eye contact, it could be a sign they're hiding something. While it's not a definitive proof of lying, it's a common sign to watch out for. Nine, overly elaborate explanations. Overly elaborate explanations. When someone is lying, they might overcompensate by giving too many details to make their story seem believable. Instead of a simple answer, they go into an unnecessary amount of detail. For instance, if you ask why they were late and they give a long, complicated story about traffic, phone calls, and multiple stops, they might be trying too hard to convince you. 10. Defensive body language. Defensive body language. Liars often show defensive behaviors to protect themselves from being caught. This can include crossing their arms, turning their body away, or becoming unusually stiff. They might also get defensive verbally, raising their voice or becoming hostile when questioned. 11. Changing topics frequently. Changing topics frequently. When someone is lying, they might try to distract you by shifting the conversation to a different topic. If you notice that someone abruptly changes the subject when they're asked a direct question, they might be trying to avoid telling the truth. For example, if you ask them about their whereabouts and they suddenly start talking about an unrelated event, it's a sign they might be hiding something. 13. Quick to blame others. Finally, quick to blame others. Liars often try to deflect attention away from themselves by blaming others. If someone is quick to point fingers or make excuses, it could be a sign they're not being truthful. For example, if they get caught in a lie and immediately say, it's not my fault, someone else did it, they might be trying to avoid responsibility. By being aware of these signs, you can better navigate your interactions and protect yourself from dishonesty. Recognizing these behaviors can help you build more honest and trustworthy relationships. Now that we know how to recognize envy and falsehood, let's explore how to handle these situations using Stoic principles. Stoicism offers practical strategies to stay calm and grounded when dealing with negative behaviors in others. 1. Practicing mindfulness to detect envy and falsehood. Practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness helps us stay present and aware of our surroundings, making it easier to detect envy and falsehood. By paying close attention to people's words and actions, we can notice subtle signs of dishonesty and envy. Mindfulness allows us to respond calmly and thoughtfully, rather than reacting impulsively. 2. Applying Marcus Aurelius' teachings to stay grounded. Applying Marcus Aurelius' teachings. Marcus Aurelius, a famous Stoic philosopher, taught us to stay grounded in our values and not be swayed by others' opinions or actions. When faced with envy or falsehood, remind yourself of your principles and what truly matters. Don't let others' negativity disrupt your inner peace. Focus on what you can control your own thoughts and actions. 3. Building Emotional Resilience Building Emotional Resilience Stoicism encourages us to build resilience to handle life's challenges. When dealing with envious or dishonest people, it's important to strengthen your emotional defenses. Practice self-reflection and understand your emotions without letting them control you. This way you can stay calm and composed even when others try to provoke you. 4. 
strategies for dealing with envious and dishonest individuals. Finally, let's talk about strategies for dealing with envious and dishonest individuals. Here are some practical tips. Set clear boundaries. Don't let negative people affect your well-being. Limit your interactions with them if necessary. Communicate directly and assertively. Address issues calmly and clearly without being confrontational. For example, if someone gives you a backhanded compliment, you can say, I appreciate feedback, but I prefer it to be straightforward. Seek support from trusted friends and mentors. Share your experiences with people you trust who can offer advice and support. Focus on your personal growth. Instead of getting caught up in others' negativity, concentrate on your own goals and development. Use their envy or dishonesty as motivation to improve yourself. By applying these stoic principles, you can navigate challenging interactions with grace and maintain your inner peace. Remember, the goal is not to change others but to manage your reactions and stay true to your values. Using stoic wisdom, we can approach these situations with calmness and resilience. Instead of letting others' envy or dishonesty affect us, we can stay true to our values and focus on our personal growth. Remember the words of Marcus Aurelius, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. I encourage you to apply these insights to your own life and relationships. By practicing mindfulness, staying grounded, and building resilience, you can navigate challenging situations with grace and integrity. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others. Check out related videos on stoicism and personal development. Thank you for watching, and remember to stay true to yourself on your journey to inner peace and growth.